morning and I will introduce you now the um, Bachelor of Education in History, which is a five-year program. Um, if you consider studying um, the B.Ed. History program, you should um, have um, a good English proficiency because the entire program is taught in the English language. You should also um, bring an interest in history yeah? and ideally it is good uh, if you have already um, studied uh, history or Chinese history in your secondary school. And you should also be cross-culturally sensitive. This just means that um, we will discuss the history of a lot of different countries and world regions. Yeah? So you should, you should uh, be interested in different cultures of the world. So this is the um, basic structure of our program. Yeah? So you have the major history courses, you have specific education courses. Yeah? You also have um, a, a number of elective courses that you can freely choose following your own interests. You, we, we then have the field experience component when you have to go to the schools to get your first real teaching experience. Then there's also the general education component you know, to broaden your horizon, a language enhancement component, and every um, program finishes with a final year project, yeah? typically an honors project, but these days we also have these new capstone projects. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so this, these are the uh, major core courses that you will need to take during your five years of the BEAT history program. And um, you can see that our major core courses are very closely aligned with the areas of study in the secondary schools. Yeah, I think this is very useful for you. So you can um, directly receive the knowledge that you will need for teaching later on. Yeah, so you can see the titles here from introductory courses on the ancient and modern world. We then go to the history of modern Hong Kong, the history of modern China. We also pay attention to um, East Asian and Southeast Asian developments in the 20th century, and then courses also on conflict and peace, international, um, international um, relations in the 20th century. Um, in addition to these major core courses that you have to take, um, we also have a range of elective courses that can further broaden your horizon as a, as a historian. Yeah? So for example, on gender issues, uh, women in China, on the history of uh, medicine and public health, yeah, very um, timely topic, yeah? also history of consumption, history of modern France, that's a course, for example, that I am currently teaching, and um, also some others. Um, I already mentioned this field experience. Yeah? So at the education university, uh, the field experience is a very important component of our curriculum. Yeah? During two times during the five years, you will be required to go to secondary schools and to teach for, I think, six weeks. Yeah, to really get your first teaching experience um, in the schools. I think that's the most interesting and the most useful aspect of our program. Yeah? And of course, you also have to write a kind of portfolio to um, reflect about these two 
teaching practice blocks. Um, of course, uh, all these courses, all the field experience, yeah, they are the key components, but we also organize a lot of other activities for our students. Uh, um, my colleagues organize uh, field trips um, to mainland China, to other countries. We organize um, visits to local museums, to local archives, you know, that you come in touch with the historical sources. Uh, and we also have a seminar series where we invite speakers from outside our university uh, that you get also to see some other people. The program aims to produce committed secondary school history teachers with qualified teacher statutes, QTS. Yeah, so uh, this is very important and great. When you graduate from our program, you will directly get the qualified teacher statutes. You, you can directly get a teaching job after your fifth year after graduation. And most of our students actually get a job right after graduating. The program covers a broad range of topics and will provide students with ample opportunities to observe history teachers, teach in the field and develop into competent history teachers. But after achieving of the university's generic learning outcomes, graduates of the history program should also be capable of taking up non-teaching positions in editing, journalism, curatorship, and many other fields. Yeah? To make it short, I think most of our students become teachers, but um, with your broad training, you can also get into a lot of other jobs after, after this program, or you might even consider doing a master's degree. Um, here you have an overview of the admission scores in the last, uh, in the last years. Please take a look. And um, here you have the general entrance requirements through the JUPAS um, channel. Uh, also, um, um, take a look at the minimum required levels. Um, we usually give priority to students, to applicants who have taken HK DSE in history or Chinese history, but it's not a must. Yeah? So if you are a very good student who has not taken history before, that's also great. Um, when you apply, we, you will have an interview with us. Yeah? So we will interview all applicants. If you have further questions, uh, do not hesitate to contact us. Um, write us an email, call our secretaries. Yeah? Um, we are very happy to um, orient you. Um, if you have questions. Now I will also introduce you to our second history program, to the Chinese history program. Okay, so um, the Bachelor of Education in Chinese history no, that prepares you during five years to become a Chinese history teacher. This program aims to cultivate students with professional ethics, creativity, lively teaching abilities, and a global perspective for teaching the subject of Chinese history in secondary schools. Um, so graduates of our program um, will become competent in pedagogical and curriculum development skills uh, uh, as we as well as discipline knowledge with the understanding of the contemporary significance of the Chinese historical issues. Um, after graduation, you will also possess critical thinking and analytical skills to solve problems 
in a logic and creative way. And you will also be able to communicate and interact effectively with others in social and professional contexts. And you will also demonstrate global awareness with high standards of morality. Um, this is uh, the program structure, quite similar to the BEAD history, also in BEAD Chinese history, with major courses, education studies courses, electives, um, field experience, general education, language enhancement components, and at the end, the final year project. These are the major core courses in Chinese history. Um, you can see we start with uh, courses on the methodology, and then we um, basically follow Chinese history chronologically from very ancient times to um, the 21st century. Um, in addition to uh, the uh, major core courses in Chinese history, yeah, again, as uh, you have the possibility to uh, take a lot of electives yeah, to broaden your historical horizon, these are basically the same electives as for um, history. Yeah? And you are also allowed to take the history courses yeah, from the BEAT history program as electives. Um, here are some program features. We focus on Chinese history without neglecting world history. And also we try to put China in a global perspective. We use Chinese dynastic history as our foundation, supplemented with topical courses such as cultural history, intellectual history, social history, and area studies. Following the Chinese historical tradition, we combine Chinese history and Chinese historical geography. And we integrate transmitted texts, paleographical sources, archaeological data, and field research in studying Chinese history. Now, sort of quite um, comprehensive approach. Um, again, um, our colleagues organize a lot of different activities for our students. Um, for example, we have a summer learning tour in Chinese history and culture. And uh, my colleagues um, brought students yeah, to um, Fudan University, Tsinghua University, Nanka University. Yeah, so we collaborate actually with the best universities in China. Um, the program aims to produce committed secondary school Chinese history teachers with qualified teacher status. Uh, again, directly upon graduation, you get the QTS and you will directly be able to get a teaching job. Graduates of the Chinese history program should also be capable of taking up non-teaching positions in editing, museum, government, and so on. Also, again, most of our students become teachers, but there are also a lot of other possibilities for you. Or you can even do the master's program if you were a good student. Um, here are the admission scores over the past years. Please take a look. Here are the um, entrance requirements for troopers applicants. Yeah, um, please also take a look at these uh, minimum required levels. Um, and we are also um, accepting um, non-troopers applicants. Um, similar to the BEAD history program, also in the BEAD Chinese history program, we require 
all the applicants to have an interview with us. Uh, and we also um, usually give priority to applicants who have taken history or Chinese history in the, uh, in the HKTSE. Uh, but uh, this is not, not a must. If you have more questions on the Chinese history program, please find the contact details here. We would be very happy to answer your questions on our programs. So I think for the moment, I say thank you for your attention. Okay, thank you. Thank you, uh, Dr. District, for sharing about the curriculum. And I would like to develop the, uh, upon the curriculum based on a student perspective. Okay. Yes, and for the student sharing section, as Dr. District have mentioned about that the uh, core structure of the BE at history is mainly uh, com combined from two parts, which is which are are the history studies and the education studies respectively. And it is a five year program and I highlight some of the major events that I found it important or interesting as a student perspective. As Dr. District have men mentioned about the block practice, which is the field, uh, field experience that uh, you will have to uh, conduct a teaching when you are year three and year five in a secondary school. And also, I would like to introduce the Students Association of History Education, which is HISA, that I uh, mentioned about some of the activities being held later. So for the courses of history education, as Dr. Dr. District have mentioned about, that it's in various topics, for example, in history of Hong Kong, China, Southeast Asia, and Japan, and uh, conflicts and peace and the cooperation of, in different time slots. And we will have some of the field trip visiting some of the local heritage in the course of heritage of Hong Kong field studies and experience that you may, uh, it is a major course that you will study if you enroll our pro program. Okay, and here's some of the sites that we have visited, for example, the Manmo Temple and the Cenotaph and uh, Chaixing Lao Pagoda, okay, in the central and Shenwan district and also in the Tin Shui Wai. Apart from the course of heritage of Hong Kong field studies and experience, we have visited some of the other history related sites in Hong Kong in different other courses. For example, the history resources archive base, the historical museums, and sometimes there are some guest lecture talks and docents uh, within some of the programs that to let students to investigate Hong Kong history and some of uh, the different uh, history from different places, more in depth and from more perspective through these of the activities. Okay, so for the education studies part, first, it, we, I would like to introduce the pedagogy of history. Okay, so during the lesson of pedagogy of history, there's major two courses that cover such topic, which is history curriculum and methods one and two. So in the first course, it will introduce some of the major concepts, for example, like the classroom management and how to conduct a history class. And for the curriculum and method too, that it may be more in-depth and let you have some chances to be a history teacher to conduct a micro teaching. So as you can see, that's here's some of the pictures of the courses from the history curriculum method one and two. While well, you can see the student teachers are conducting history lesson. And for those who are not presenting at the moment, we have a role to pretend to be some kind of students that you may be or you may see in your secondary schools during your block practice or even when you are, have, uh, when you are a secondary school student now. Okay, for example, being an active students and however asking some irrelevant question during the uh, class or for example i'm a student with a great academic results however i choose to have self-studies of other subjects during the class or even you can see that the students here are, is playing violin during the class and the students teachers are going to stop her from interrupting the class so it may train train the the classroom management skills of the teachers 
and how to stop uh, those students who interrupt the class, as well as to deliver the historical contents that they're going to teach during the class, which is a great practice that you may face similar difficulties when you are becoming a future teacher or during the block practice period. Okay, and apart from those uh, contents or some courses that related to universities, there are some of the other learning experience we have done before. For example, we have enrolled to be a history ambassador project that's collaborating with a secondary school in the Tianzhou Wai, which is to lead some of the primary school students to have some site visits in the Ping Shan Heritage Trail and to implement the technology of VR and the aerial photographs and to let those students to investigate and to know about history in more perspective. And here's some of the photos that we are having discussion and we are having a trip, field trip with the primary school students. Okay, and for the most interesting part is that for the block practice. And first of all, I would like to ask any of you would like to become a teacher or you are considering to become a teacher. You can use the chat box function or raise your hand function to let me know any of you are willing to become a teacher. Okay, I saw your hands. Okay, thank you. Okay, more and more of you are willing to be a teacher, which is good that you have you have to attend to this section and pay attention to. Okay, so for the block practice, you may, as a doctor district had mentioned about that, you will have a, a, an opportunity to be a student teacher when you are uh, year three and year five students and you may have the opportunity to teach in a secondary school which may be your alma mater or some of the secondary schools that the school may assign for you and this is a photo that i uh, just i've just finished my first block practice a few months before and this is my class that's uh, according to my personal experience i've taught one of the form five classes and two of the form three classes as you know, that is due to the COVID pandemic that some of the classes are held online while some are conducted face to face. And for my Form 5 students, it's quite a uh, surprise for me that the elder st student is just almost two years uh, younger than me. And to be a colleagues with my previous uh, secondary school teacher is quite a fun experience. And just to share some of my experience that and during the block practice period, I have always been a exam, examination invigilator that I finally realized that why the teachers may walk around and have a peek with your answer. That is really boring as a teacher that you cannot do anything. You cannot uh, have a look at your cell phone or to have pre-studies on your uh, lessons, maybe tomorrow. Indeed, you, you can just walk around and look at this, what are the students doing and it is quite a fun experience to do so and for the students you can develop a, a, a relationship with them by like conducting a history lesson and this is quite fun for me and it's like quite memorable that I may not have such an experience if I didn't enroll the Viet history program of the university uh, education university of Hong Kong Okay, and last but not least, I'd like to mention about the History Education Students Association, which is HISA of the EDU. So here, as a committee member of the Student Association a few years before, which is two to three years ago, and here are some of the photos about my committee and some activities that we are going to, we have organized in the past. So for example, you can see it is a uh, like a uniform party welcoming uh, those freshmen and we are having the uh, hot pot together and we have some on stage performances and some of the gaming with the freshmen and to to develop a relationship between the elder brother and sister of the of the beer history program and the freshmen that it is a better connection to build a better build a better connection with them and let them to, to know more about our program and our ULI. And also, actually, apart from those uh, welcoming party, we, we will organize some different kind of events that uh, uh, during the whole academic year. 
And also, as we may have some, we may hold all day and all camp uh, each year. Okay, and also it's held by the History Education Students Association. And here are some of the previous photos of the old day and old camp. As you can see that we are having some of the campfire up and like some water battle and to let the freshmen to be more involved in the whole academic year. And for the atmosphere of the whole entire B at History program, I would like to say that it's warm and nice and for those a committee member or some elder brothers and sisters that we are helpful and as well as the professors there we are glad and we are willing to provide some advice for you if you have any inquiries about the life in university no matter in the uh, enrolling courses of history or some course registration or even the students hostels that we are willing to build a sense of belongings from all of you and to develop a more closely relationship of all of you and to welcome you to uh, enter our back family of be at history of at you hong kong and there's the end of my sharing and i'll pass the time to to esther maybe okay thank you